One of my favorite things about this event every year is when I get to see people that I only see here every year. Uh, maybe I met them last year, the year before here, maybe they just live in a, in a different part of the country that's too far for us to be able to see each other and anything else, whatever the case. I love being able to catch up with folks that I haven't seen in a year and, uh, and find out what God's been doing in their lives and, and things like that. One such friend is, is a guy named Angel Swaswa, or as we would pronounce it, Angel, because um, that's the way it's spelled. And uh, he's originally from Monterey, Mexico, and he lives in Dallas now. I met him last year uh, here. He bought one of my uh, calling CDs. And he and I sat and talked last year for a, for a really long time, and, and we had a, we had a great visit and got to know each other. And and, uh, and he's just a great guy. He loves the Lord. He loves music. And uh, and we really really hit it off. Uh, well, he he found me this year. He came up to me and, and gave me a big hug and said, "I've got a, I've got a story I've got to tell you. I got something I've, I've got to tell you about that's happened uh, just just last month that I want to share with you." And uh, and he. We sat down and, and he told me about uh, some friends of his that uh, were involved in a car accident and unfortunately uh, lost their lives in that accident. But after that, he and his friends and the families of those people found comfort in uh, one of my songs. And, uh, and so he, he told me the story of, uh, of what had happened and uh, I wanted to share that with you. I have a group of closest friends, two of them passed away, and of course, you know, all of my other friends and I work to, you know, this sad and, you know, you know how to feel when you lost someone, you know, closer friend and all that. And I was telling them about, you know, they, I mean, don't worry about it, we will see him again, trying to get encouraged, encouraging words. But and then I remember your CD yeah, about you know the, that song that calls a better place. I told me, you know what? Listen to this CD and listen to this song and just meditate on it. And you tell me later what you're feeling. And a friend of mine were were listening to the music. They would start crying and and they told me, you know what? Thank you for for this word because I we really need it. Actually, one of the person was one of the guys who passed away. His brother. He listened to the message. He said, "You get, you get me like a copy or something." I was like, "Yeah, I mean, well." And he said he was so encouraged because you know at that time when you lost someone that you love, it's too hard. And every word you you give to people, and the way your music or Works it's special, but when they hear the melody, the harmony, the music, they start crying a lot. And we're like, Thank you, man. It was a blessing. I don't know where you get that CD, and then I start telling them about last year. I told, I read the CD, and I told them, You know what? Um, it says on the CD that this guy, Eric Wynn, the one who wrote the song, he also lost to friends of his. He says on, on the city then he calls it the city can be a, a hope for those that have been lost, uh, you know, the special That's what one. The song's about. That's what it's for. And they start crying. Uh, it was, they, they told me they appreciated for sharing the, that really special song because it really brought peace to our hearts and remember us then we have a better place to go. It's not over, I mean, it's just the beginning of something better, you know.